day for everyone. I hope you all learn a lot. Uh, I personally do. Being on a faculty in every course, I learn every time something new from my colleagues, so I'm sure you will gain a lot today. So we've had the mid-clavicular approach, which unfortunately is uh, not able to do because the lab is short. The next approach will be the MIPO humerus. So uh, I'll show you just a small two-minute presentation, and then we will do the demo. Lights down. Lights down. Okay, so yesterday we saw this kind of fracture in which you need to do a long kilo split to bridge. Um, and then it's a combination of either doing a delta vector or a tier approach, or you do a MIPO with a long plane. So you have to get the setup correctly uh, and, and position your image and intensify properly to do something like this. So twisting the arm is not ideal, especially if it's a proximal humerus fracture. Maybe you want to be doing having the image go as a lateral view if possible. Uh, remember now we have three points of anatomy to take care of while we're moving. The axillary proximally, the deltoid insertion in the middle, and the radial nerve this thing. So the plate, we want to put it laterally on the humerus. And we mentioned that there is a split between the anterior middle parts of the deltoid. You can go through there. That's on the anterior part of the acromion. Or of course, your classic deltopectoral approach. This is the deltoid. Or you can go trans middle part of the deltoid. Now the advantage of this, if you go slightly anterior, you might find some resistance to the deltoid insertion. Being slightly posterior through the middle part, you don't have that much problem. The plate does slide backwards, uh, downwards easily. So the axillary nerve is about six centimeters. We will expose it. I just want this MRI, which is for some other pathology, for a very important note that Simon taught me, which is to try to feel the axillary. When you open the proximal part, you will put your finger, you will feel the reflection of the subacromial space. This is your safe path. The axillary nerve is immediately under this space. So if this is intact, you are fine here. The nerve is just under that. So you're all going to feel the space before you penetrate. You're safe there. Once you penetrate, the radial is under you. Okay? So this is the level of the radial nerve. Um, we're going to do the split, the axillary nerve. My apologies. So I want you to continue the split, see the nerve. Uh, just for being familiar with it, I want you to see, feel it so you, you're comfortable, you're not afraid. Plus, when you're doing a long plate, you need some retraction. So it's a bit dangerous if you're doing this blind, you do some abduction to get the nerve to relax, to be able to slide the plate down. So this is the nerve. Once you do that, and you insert the plate, distally we have a straight plate, so you must expose the radial nerve distally. And two things to take care of. If you go anterior, there's the musculocutaneous nerve, but laterally, we're really seeing the radial nerve itself. And everyone should feel on himself before the caliper the, the space between the biceps and the brachial gas. You already can feel the oblique area of indentation. You can feel it on yourself or on your colleague. So it's easy to identify before you start cutting. And I want you to do an oblique excision along that groove, okay? Now, once you open, there's always a vertical nerve, which is the posterior cutaneous nerve of the forearm. It's, it, it's more vertical. The radial will be in line with your oblique excision, but that nerve is in line. It's better seen on the screens uh, next to you than on the, on the large screen, okay? So don't enter that. Then you will go at the space between the vertialis and the... Uh, the biceps and the, uh, the brachialis and the brachialis to find the radial nerve itself. Once you're there, the humerus is under you, and then we'll create our tunnel and insert the plate. So this is your two incisions. The lower one, I want it to be slightly oblique, not vertical. Oblique along the groove that you can feel, and I want you to feel it on the calendar before you start. And this is how it looks, and at the head. Okay? So we'll uh, proceed with the section. No, please stop, there is a demo. We will do a demo first and then...
So we mark the uh, acromion and the clavicles and the coracoid process. So if we do the between the anterior middle heads, we would go along the anterior acromion. This is where we would be. But we're going to be a little bit more lateral, splitting the middle part of the deltoid. So we'll do big incisions here because you want to be comfortable. When you're doing a real life, you can always go smaller. So a little bit of the section, and then we'll go through the deltoid fibers.
So now we saw the nerve here. We're going through the muscle bulb a little bit. Now here we can see the brachialis in front, the brachialis in the back, and the nerve is there. Is it clear? Is it clear now? The radial nerve there? I think this is muscle, nerve, muscle. You can see the difference there. Yeah? So, so just next to it is the actual humerus. So we need to slide the plate. And once we know that where the nerve is, then you can just slide the plate down. So what this is what we want to do. We abduct a little bit to relax the axillary here because you cannot. Uh, Section. 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 